Trifi! Kumusta kayong lahat? Medyo natagalan ang bagong lesson natin. So ngayon, meron tayong bagong lesson na pag-uusapan. At ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is about volume of a three-dimensional object or a volume of a 3D object. So, natapos na natin yung surface area ng mga three-dimensional objects. Ngayon naman ang pag-uusapan natin is volume of a three-dimensional objects. Ano yung volume? Volume is the amount of space a three-dimensional objects occupied. So, meaning, kung gaano kalaki or kung ano yung amount ng space ng isang three-dimensional objects, ano yung kanyang amount of space na inoccupy by measuring it through cubic units. Volume is measured in cubic unit. For example, cubic centimeter and cubic meter. So, yun yung mga unit na um, usually ginagamit natin sa pag-measure ng volume ng three-dimensional objects. So, yun yung mga unit na ginagamit natin. Without further ado, magsimula na tayo. So, ang uunahin natin is hahanapin natin or isosolve natin ang volume ng cube. Paano natin kukunin yung volume ng Cube. So, marami po tayong mga tutorial videos. Pwede nyo po yung panoorin ng mga previous videos natin para marami tayong matutunan. So, ang previous lesson natin is about surface area. Ngayon naman is nasa volume na tayo. So, pag-uusapan natin kung paano kukunin ang volume ng cube. Lahat naman siguro tayo nakakita na ng cube, no? So, ganito yung cube. Ibig sabihin, ang cube is lahat ng kanyang sides is merong magkaparehong sukat. So, ibig sabihin ito, 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 lahat ng sides niya is magkapareho yung sukat. So, yun ang cube natin. Ngayon naman, papaano natin kukunin ang kanyang volume? Magkukuha natin ang kanyang volume by using the formula, volume is equal to side cube or S cube. So, volume is equal to S cube. Cube. Or ibig sabihin, ang kanyang size is i-multiply mo sa kanyang sarili na 3 times. Kasi kailangan lang natin na meron tayong isang uh, size ng isang side kasi magkapareho lang lahat yung size ng side niya. So kung meron tayong isang size ng side ng volume or ng cube, sorry, so pwede na natin isolve ang kanyang volume basta meron lang tayong sukat ng isang side niya. Kasi ang formula natin is ang kanyang side i-multiply by itself 3 times or side cube or s Cube. Suppose meron tayong cube na merong side na 3 cm. So, hahanapin or isasolve natin ang kanyang volume sa paggamit ng ating formula as volume is equal to S cube. So, ngayon, volume, ano yung size ng ating side? Ang size ng ating side is 3 cm. So, 3 cm cube or Kung i-simplify natin si 3, 3 cm cube, magiging 3 cm times 3 cm times 3 cm. So, ganyan siya. I-multiply mo siya sa kanyang sarili na tatlong beses kasi cube yung nandito natin. So, 3 cm times 3 cm times 3 cm. So, mag-multiply na tayo. 3 cm times 3 cm is equal to 9 cm squared. Kasi dalawa na silang cm. So, ngayon, 9 cm squared times 3 cm. Kasi meron pa tayong isang 3 cm. So, 9 times 3 is equal to 27. And cm squared times cm is equal to cm cube or cubic cm. So, ang sagot sa volume ng ating cube na merong 3 cm, ang kanyang side is 27 cm cube or 27 cubic cm. So, ito na yung sagot natin. Ayan na yung volume ng ating cube. Another example tayo, meron tayong cube dito which has a side of 1.5 meter. So, gamitin pa rin natin ang ating formula which is volume is equal to S cube or side times side times side times side or side multiplied by itself three times. So, volume is equal to, ano yung side natin? 1.5 meter. So, 1.5 meter cube or 1.5 meter times 1.5 meter times 1.5 meter. Ayan. So, klaro ba? I-multiply natin ang kanyang side by 3 times. So, 1.5 meter times 1.5 hmm, meter times 1.5 meters. I'm so sorry. So, 1.5 meter times 1.5 meters, of course, kailangan natin siyang i-multiply. So, 1.5 times 1.5, 5 times 5, 25, carry 2, 5 times 1 is equal to 5 plus 2 is equal to 
7. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And then add tayo. So bring down natin si 5. 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And ilang decimal point meron tayo? 1, 2. So ibig sabihin 1, 2. Ang ating sagot is 2.25 meter squared times 1.5 meter. Ayan. So, 2.25 meter squared times 1.5. I-multiply naman natin si 2.5 kay 1.5 para magkaroon tayo ng volume ng ating cube. So, 2.5 or 2.25 rather times 1.5. Ayan. So, 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Carry 2. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Plus 2 is equal to 12. Carry 1. 5 times 2 is equal to 10, plus 1 is equal to 11, 1 times 5 is equal to 5, 1 times 2 is equal to 2, and 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Ayan, so mag-add na tayo. Bring down natin si 5, hindi na yata klaro dito sa baba. Wait. Okay, so bring down 5. And then 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Kita ba sa baba? 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So, ilang decimal point meron tayo? 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 2, 3. Ibig sabihin, ang ating sagot is 3.375 meter cube or cubic meter. So, yan na yung sagot natin. Kapag meron tayong side na 1.5 meter, ang volume ng ating cube is 3.375 cubic meter. O, ang dali lang, di ba? Basta marunong lang talaga tayong mag-multiply, alam na alam natin yung sagot. At kung meron lang talaga tayong formula, alam na alam natin kung paano kukunin ang volume ng ating cube. Ayan, ang dali lang ng lesson natin for today, mga katrifty. Ang susunod nating lesson is about the volume naman of a rectangular prism. So, uh, pag-uusapan natin ang mga volume ng mga three-dimensional objects sa mga susunod nating lesson. Okay, so I think that's all for today's video. I hope you like this video and I hope you learned something new today. And if you learned something new today, don't forget to like our video and to share our video. And don't forget also to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like and follow us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. See you in our next lesson. Bye!